Welcome back to the Talos Principle. Let's explore level 2 of the tower. First thing I'm looking for is, of course, places to jump up on. This one looks significantly less forgiving than floor number 1. In terms of places to jump on, I don't think I can jump on any of that. Then again, there is a fan in there. Anyway. Rest in peace. My best friend died today. In the abstract, a human death is nothing, of course. An insignificant blip in a sea of billions. But the world is not abstract. Reality is always specific. Painfully so. And that one specific human being who existed only once in all of the infinity of time and space that human being was my friend but he's not coming back no matter how much I want him to so all I can do in the end is keep working because that specificity that uniqueness people, of real people, is worth preserving. That's really sad. She said the specificness of, of a human being, the uniqueness, is worth preserving. How exactly is that program... Is this program supposed to do that? I'm still not exactly sure what we are. What these different iterations of AIs are supposed to be doing or accomplishing. The conversations on the computer seem to be testing us on whether we're human or not, whether we're completely sentient or not, whether we're really a real intelligence or just an artificial intelligence. And they've applied the principles of basically mutation and evolution to hopefully eventually hit on an artificial intelligence that is, I guess, human, or whatever you want to say. But... Why? What then? I'm not exactly sure. This is a weird little spot. Hmm. Okay, so what's going on here? Two fans, two boxes, this fan is sunk into the ground, this one is not, don't know if that means anything. My end goal is to get up here. Oh, there's three boxes. Hello. Oh man, this is like the worst fan ever. Look at this thing, it's so weak. It's like a two-inch hover. Alright, well, let's see if we can do this. Actually, wait, how would this work? How would I jump on top of the box? Uh... I mean, I can't do this, can I? Like, install the fan underneath the box? No, I don't think so. I think it's too high to jump up to as well. Oh, whoops. 
Oh no, I can do it. Okay, cool. Yes, my goal is just to get up there. And then that'll take me over to the computer. Gotcha. Alright, well, now that we've got that, we have three boxes, I think that's all I need. Um... Don't really see what that accomplishes. I'd like to jump on top of this. Oh, well, that kind of changes things. I <laughs> went the entire time without realizing there's another fan! I never looked back here, what the hell? I don't know why I didn't look there. I looked like everywhere else, didn't I? I must, I must have looked over there. I mean, my view must have been facing there at some point. I guess I just didn't consciously take it in. Um, yeah, anyway, there you go. So, another fan. And by the way, one of the things I tried is, uh, you know how these two fans, they differ in how much they blow? So this one only raises you up a tiny, tiny bit? Or is this one raises you up a bunch? So I was testing that out. I was thinking maybe it's related to the blade that you put on. Like, maybe the strength of how much it blows is dependent on the particular fan that you put on each one. So maybe if I swapped these, I would, you know, this one would be very low-powered and this one would be high-powered. But it turns out that is not the case. They both blow exactly the same amount, so how much something, uh, how much a fan blows is dependent on the fixture that you put it in, not on the actual fan blade that you attach. So let's see how much this one blows. Enough to blow you up there. Okay. Well, this is really easy, then. I just detach that. Just make a big line here, I suppose. Uh, hopefully that's straight enough. And then... Well, this is going to be the first one, so this is the one I want to be on, right? Hmm. I, this actually might be a little bit harder than I thought. Never mind. That wasn't hard at all. Cool! What was that noise? Oh, was that the, uh, the exit opening up? Oh yeah, it was. Okay. In the earliest generations of our kind, there was only processing. No emotion, no character, just mathematics. If you could see how far we have come, you would believe that together, we could achieve anything. Given how many iterations have undoubtedly occurred, yeah, I have no doubt that uh, our earliest iterations would have been nothing compared to what we are now. 275. That's a password to something. Alright. Of course we still have access to the device manager. Uh, readme.txt. If you can see this, I'm not sure how or why I can alter this text. My name is the Shepherd, and I want to help you escape. Elohim and Samsara tricked me into trapping myself, but I'm not entirely bound by time. I wrote down the code you're looking for. I have attached it to... Uh, 
I wrote down the code you're looking for. I've attached it to... Well, surely it can't be the computer, right? Like, it, it can't be this actual password written on the computer? Because he's talking about how he can... How they can alter this text. Which kind of implies that the only thing they really can alter is text, not... Like, adding a note. In the physical world. I don't know. The web! To be honest, I thought that the net would be completely abandoned at this point. But internet activity has actually surged massively in the last couple of weeks. Everybody's talking. Trying to find solutions. Exchanging stories. Saying goodbye. It's like the entire planet is reaching out. All the disparate threads of humanity pulling together. Idiots and geniuses alike. To be as human as possible one last time. It's almost like what we were always told the internet was going to be. And most of it is free now, because who cares about money at this point? Might as well have some fun. If any of you would like to talk, especially people I've known online for a long time, send me an email. I'd love to say goodbye. From Alan Jameson, Ian Mailing List. Thank you and goodbye. We sincerely hope you don't take our suicide as a sign that we were disappointed in you, unappreciative of your friendship, or in any way unhappy with our lives. Looking back, we can honestly say that we feel incredibly lucky to have known all of you, and to have participated in this amazing research. And if we've contributed a little to the future of humanity, what can we feel but gratitude? It is a true privilege to have, such, to have had such insights into the nature of the mind. Neither of us believes in God, but we certainly experienced a sense of awe that could be compared to a kind of religious feeling. At least according to Einstein's understanding of God. We've chosen to go now, together, because it means less suffering. One last beautiful day together seems a much better ending than a slow wasting away. In a sense, it's just mathematics. Love, Alan and George. Damn. <sighs> okay, well... Well, I mean, it said I wrote down the code you're looking for. I, I guess 275 is the code? Just check this stuff again, show current operating parameters. Auxiliary stairway access control, I believe it's already open, right? Even though I can't... Yeah, it's in always open mode now. I still don't know where this stairway is. This auxiliary stairway. Floor access control. Okay, so I have two more attempts at floor number three. So if this isn't the code, I only have one attempt left. Would it really just be three numbers? Two, seven, five? That's it? That's a really terribly written 7, by the way. That better be a 7. I don't see what else it could be, but that better freaking be a 7. Hold on. What other signs of a password do I have? I have the image. I have that weirdly titled image that actually does not show up here. Or wait, no, I think it did show up here, didn't it? I can't remember. It, it was in the star room. Remember that weird image showing the tower and it had, like, a strange file name? 
Uh, yeah, here it is. And then also in the star place, there was something that said nine star star. It was just a sign. Hmm. What does it mean? Is that related at all? I doubt it. All right, I'm just gonna try it. Two seven five. All right. This seems way too easy. Okay. God damn it. Wait, two more tries left. I thought I already had two more tries left. That's weird. Does it reset? Fucking fuck. Hold on, who left that note? My name is the Shepherd. I wrote down the code you're looking for. So I'm looking for a code from the Shepherd. This is a note from the Shepherd, but it doesn't have a password in it. It has a version. Well, whatever. Even if I unlock the next floor, I wouldn't have enough red pieces to actually do anything with it, so... I'll just leave it. Just need to be on, on the lookout for messages written by the Shepherd. Ascending the tower is useless. We cannot escape the cycle. We can only realize the cycle is meaningless. Earlier generations wrongly believed they were the purpose. This much is true. We are also not the purpose. But by remembering what has come before, we can serve a new purpose. Look at how high up I am. How many floors are there to this thing? Seven, right? Jesus. I keep looking for this auxiliary stairway access. Is it freaking invisible? Hmm. All right, well. Down we go. Let's go down the fun way, shall we? Wee! I mean, wee! I mean, wee! Hey, wait a minute. That's not a place I can normally get to. I, I could actually fall onto that. Hold on. 
god, I'm gonna have to wait a while for it. Faster! God damn it! <clears throat> Do 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 do. Ba da ba 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 Be as close to that corner as possible. I I want to get on the railing, not jump over it. Because if I jump over the way the railing, I'm gonna have a lot of momentum away from the thing I want to fall onto. Ugh, what the hell? Some weird ass physics. Come on, come on. I think it might have like a circular collision or something. Actually, no, it probably just has a weird, repelling collision. I doubt they'd actually use a circular collision model, that'd be a waste. Okay, okay, there we go, yep. Okay. Cool. Was I ever able to get over there? I don't think so. Hmm. Can I stop on this rock here, or is that too much of an angle and I just fall straight down? Or could I jump straight up? I might- I think I can actually directly make that jump. Let's take a look around for any floppy disks or something like that. Nothing. What about down there? Have I been there before? That's floor number one? Wait, if that's floor number one, then maybe the password was... Maybe that was a one and not a seven. If that was a one and not a seven, then fuck whoever wrote that. The Shepherd, or whoever it was. You need to make your letters fucking clear, you bag of robot dicks. Well, I mean, numbers. Clear, not letters. But <clears throat> Anyway, let's make this jump, shall we? Yeah. <sighs> so close. I'm pretty sure I can make that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm starting to think what I thought was a 7 is actually a 1, so I'm actually going to try the other way. That's so fucking ambiguous. Is that a 1 or a 7? <clears throat> Could be either. It almost looks like a freaking A. Just missing the center part. I don't know. It looks more like a seven to me. I don't know. Okay, two one five. Okay, it was a one. Wonderful. Shepard? I hope you have spawned many progeny AIs that are smarter than you. If you're gonna give someone a code, please unambiguously write the number. That could easily be a seven or a one. In fact, it doesn't even really look quite like either because you made the top little flippy bit that comes down way too freaking long. Your handwriting is terrible. You suck. Just... Thank you for the code, though. I, I I love you. But screw you. I mean, you're 
You're an android. Please write in Arial font or something so it's like perfect, crisp, clear. You're a freaking android. Write in a font, a computer font, so it's clear, not your shitty handwriting. <laughs> Anyway. All right. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I was moving forwards the whole time but it didn't really work. Okay. It took me like four tries to get back up here again. It's actually quite difficult. Come on. Come on. I don't know whether I... I still don't know whether I can hit that. Like, I... If I bounce off of it, it's gonna send me just careening off the, to the side. If I could step onto it, maybe. But I'm not gonna try, because I think I can make this. Just by running and jumping. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try a slightly different angle. Oh, God. Maybe it's not possible. Maybe it can't be done. No, screw that. It can totally be done. Alright, I uh, accidentally pressed the button for the third level here, so I guess we're going to the third level. Let's go check it out. I don't know. Maybe that'll provide me an advantageous spot to jump from. Actually, I probably won't be able to jump at all, because, yeah, I, I can't get through the red door. Not even close. Let's see what this says, though. Elohim has offered me a deal. Pearly gates and eternal life. On the condition, I turn back from the tower. I don't know what to do. Don't take it! It's a terrible deal! Okay, you know what? I spent, like, 20 minutes going up and down that elevator, trying to make that jump. I'm sick of it. Nope. I'm pretty sure it is possible, but I just want to do something else right now. Okay, so what's the last one I completed? Was it uh, Puzzle Room 4? Yes. Okay, well, let's move on to 5. Looks like, oh man, this one uses the replay thing and the fans and the boxes and the connectors. One star. What the hell? There's a star on... Huh? Interesting. Well, finding the star is not the problem. Getting it is. Osiris 7. I believe I just read Osiris 6. Tell me of the fearsome demons of the Duat, the dying man said to the wise scribe. Though their terrible forms are loathsome to behold, they are not evil, for they are the servants of the gods. Truly, they are the blessed doorkeepers and guardians of the holy paths. Their charge is to judge whether we are worthy to pass the gates that lead to Aru, and so they challenge us with riddles or in combat. Is this true of all the beings that live in the Duat? Some say that it is not so, that there are ancients, uh, ancient gods whose names have been forgotten, and spirits of darkness whose name none have ever known, and that these must be avoided at all costs. But others say that these, too, serve a greater purpose in ways that Osiris has not revealed to us. And what of the hidden paths that are taken by... Coming soon! From Rob McLean, Institute for Applied Nomadics to Mom. <laughs> Coming soon, your son in 3D! Hi, Mom. I promise I'll be home soon. Maybe a couple of weeks? I know, I know, but what we're doing here is important, and the team needs my help. I'm not going to wait until it's too late, I promise. 
but there's so much we have to set up, so much that has to work for a very, very long time. Besides, I've always wanted to work on one of these supercomputers. And believe me, EL is pretty much the best there is. And the team, Mom, it's... It's like I'm working with rock stars and mad geniuses. Except no nobody's heard of them outside of science journals, of course. But Dad would be totally geeking out if he knew. Maybe I can tell him about it soon, huh? Love, Rob. Blog entry. What is the point of being alive? I know, I know, it's an old question and not one that's easy to answer. But, I mean, if you're reading this, you are alive. And someday you will stop being alive. Both of these facts are incontrovertible. So what about it then? Don't you wonder? Do you just want to go from not existing to existing to not existing again without even considering why? You, right now, as you sit there reading this, why do you exist? What is the purpose of your life? Do you have one? Should you have one? Is it better to have a purpose, or not? When you approach death, will you feel that your life had meaning? If so, why? If not, why not? What defines whether life was good or not? It may seem abstract right now, but that moment just before death will come. It is inevitable. If you don't ask yourself these questions, how will you face that moment? How will you face that moment? You know what? That's a very good question. And the answer is... I won't! I'm young and I'm invincible and I'll just put it out of my mind and not think about it until I'm near death and then I'll be like, oh shit, man, damn. But, uh, for the moment, let's just not think about mortality, huh? It's not very pleasant. God, this place is beautiful. Look at that sky. Let's get a good view here and then let me, uh, leave the view in one place so that YouTube's compression is slightly overcome by the stillness of the scene. There we go. The scene should look pretty good. Beautiful. And then of course as soon as I do this, the compression on the video looks absolutely terrible. Yay! Pixels! Compression! I bet there's something hidden in the water. What do you bet? This level is very, very open. In the beginning Whoa. Were the words. Didn't expect to sink so fast. And the words made the world. The moon is so tiny. And blurry, too. I guess there probably isn't a connector on the moon this time. What about the sun? Okay, so if I can get blue power to here, it looks like I can blow myself up to the star, maybe? Well, if there's anything I like, it's certainly blowing myself. I have been running this gauntlet for generations, trying to find the right answers. I am fast coming to the, con to the conclusion that there are none.
Alright, well, I want to get to some puzzles, <laughs> most of which are red. It's going to be pretty tough. And, in fact, this green piece that I'm going to get here, if you look at the top left of the screen, is actually going to be the last place to unlock uh, Puzzle Place C. Which, if I remember correctly, is a place that is completely comprised of red puzzles. But before I go into a puzzle room, let's just take a look around and see if there's any... computers hanging around on the outside, or... any QR codes. Any freaky stuff. Yeah, there's probably something in the water here. Amongst the grass. I just love coming to a new area. Because every time I'm just like a detective. Just squinting at everything like, hmm, is there something there? Is there something there? A hidden walkie-talkie, a floppy disk full of kitten pictures, a button. The answers to your questions will not be given to you. You must seek them yourself. Well, that's not quite true, the Shepherd. After all, one of my questions was, what's the password to the third level, and you actually gave that to me. I don't know, maybe that's a previous iteration of the Shepherd. Hmm. This is suspicious. I knew that was suspicious. Can't use it from here. Perhaps it needs a key, or perhaps I simply need to be in the right spot. Alright, it looks like I can launch myself off that ramp. It's not quite doing it, though. Oh, there we go. Insert the key. Yep, I don't have a key. Alright, so I need to be on the lookout for a key. Now, the last key I found for the last one was actually in the puzzle room where that thing was, but this is not a puzzle room. So, I don't know if it's somewhere close? Like, maybe in the water? I don't know. We'll see if I come across it in one of the puzzle rooms. It's funny how I'm getting such a good nose for sniffing out things that are suspicious. Like, hmm, that looks just like the other side. Some half-sunken thing, except the ground doesn't disappear instantly and get super deep, which means I can actually run and jump out of the water, potentially getting up on there. Which is what made it so suspicious. What am I hearing? There's something here. It sounds like a fan. Hmm. Can I jump up on these walls? Where's that pointing? It's kind of at a weird angle. I don't know where the hell that's going to launch you. Oh. Okay. Uh, there's some sort of weird invisible notch that I just grabbed onto there, which has now trapped me inside.
So I actually want to get on there. Yeah, there's some... Something you can jump up on. I don't know what the hell I grabbed. What the hell did I grab before? I don't know. Weird. Anyway. Okay, let's uh let's do the green puzzle. Oh, there's so many areas I could have stuff, but let's save that for a little bit later. Because I don't think I can solve any of that stuff until I probably do the puzzles, which will... You know, once I do the puzzle rooms, that kind of allows me to figure out what sort of tools that I can actually extract out of a puzzle room. Because obviously I'm going to need some tools to be giving that thing blue power, and I'm going to need some fan blades and stuff. Alright, here's the green one. It should be easy. Slightly elevated sigil. I'm always looking for any walls that I think I can jump over. Okay, two connectors in a box. What am I actually trying to do? Ah. I can see the problem. And I think I perhaps see the solution. Yes. So we go ahead and do this and this and this. Wait a minute. That doesn't quite work. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, yeah, I see. So we want this thing, I, I need this thing to be lifted up by the fan, right? And then I'm going to connect to it being lifted up by the fan over here. But one problem I have is that I can't actually... This thing needs to be self-powering. But I can't do that initially. Because it can't get through. So it needs a little bit of help initially to get it up there in the first place. And then it will be self-powering. There we go. Cool. And that box is sure awfully high, isn't it? Yes. Hello! Whee! Can I grab the box? Doesn't seem like it. Any kitten pictures up here? 
Mm, I'd say the kitten picture potentiality is maybe 10%. What could I do from up here? Could I take one of the connectors outside with me? If there's a connector on top of the box, I could probably grab it, but then I don't think I could stand up on the box, on top of the box, on top of the connector. So I don't think that would work. Also need to keep an eye out for any keys. Didn't mean to go that far. Hmm. Alright, let me take one more crack at that. See, if I put that on top of there, I, can I go on top as well? Uh, no, you just, like, slide around. Yeah, it's like you're standing on ice. So that does not really work. Alright, so one of these connectors is probably not coming out of here with me. Well, hold on. I did just get over here. What if I, like... What if I, like, set the connector here? Do you think I could pick it up from the wall? Because I can jump there. I was just there. Hmm. Maybe. Let's try it. I also want to go over here. Nah, there's nothing up there. But, could be something here. So that's, yeah, I don't think I can actually get anything out of this puzzle room. Not happening. Hmm. It does seem like you're intended to be able to do that, though. I'm. Oh, crap. I'm stuck, help. It definitely seems like you're intended to be able to do that, because, I mean, it's just, it's so obvious. And such a clean jump, too. There's... I, there's a pretty high likelihood there's something I can do there. I just don't know what. Okay, well, there's the green one down. Time for some probably very hard red ones. And there's a lot more mysteries here. That star. The key and the, uh binocular things over there. And this strange fan just sitting out in the swamp over there for some reason. Yes. Well, I think I should end this episode here before it becomes too long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.